Welcome to Community Arts Kitchen. Materials needed to create a spooky skeleton hand for decorating your windows for Halloween. You're going to need a little bit of um, cooking oil. I'm using canola oil, a Q-tip, a pencil, and a piece of copy paper. First thing you're going to do is you're going to trace your hand and place your hand wherever you like on the paper. Hold your pencil upright and trace along your hand. Go slow, but you don't have to make this a total perfect tracing. It's just to get the shape of the hand on there. And even a little bit of the wrist and a little bit of the arm if you like. Then take your hand off and here is your tracing. Next thing we're gonna do is look at a um, skeleton of a hand. This is out of my old anatomy drawing books. And I wanted to notice the um, bones in the hand because I am going to just quickly sketch in the shapes of the bones and also I want to notice um, how many knuckles I have. So I have one, two, three knuckles in um, each of my fingers. So there is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and in the thumb as well, one, two. Oh, there's only two in the thumb. So there's one, two knuckles in the thumb. So we're going to sketch those in with circles. Here I am checking out my thumb and um, thinking about where my knuckles would be. So knuckle of my thumb would be here. So I'm going to just lightly sketch a circle here. And this is my second knuckle circle here. Same thing on my pointy finger. One, two, and the knuckle that um, is attached to the hand. One, two, three. On all of the fingers. This is gonna help us um, sketch in where the bones will go. Next thing I'm noticing that there are these um, long oval shaped bones inside of my hand. So they're in here, which I can't see. And then there's also these little teeny tiny bones that um, are going to be inside of my wrist if I wanted to add those in my spooky drawing. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to sketch in the shape of the bone for my thumb and this shape of the thumb and it's connected with that circle and then there's the bone that's inside of my hand right here and then these are I'm just kind of guessing I am not making a correct anatomical drawing these are all the different bones that are in my wrist and these are then connected to my arm bone so i'm going to sketch all of these in so they're little tips and then they shape in kind of like that so then there's another bone connected in here and the circles really help me locate where these um, bones need to go. And they always start with kind of a wider top, then they narrow and then they widen again. Okay, and then this one is the um, bone that is the metacarpal that's connected down here to my wrist bones. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and sketch all of those in. Okay, now I have all the bones in my hand and wrist sketched in. That was a lot of fun studying the shapes of the bones. They kind of remind me a little bit of an hourglass. And uh, now I can go ahead and make them uh, transparent. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to take the oil and dip the Q-tip in it. And now you're gonna go ahead and um, paint in the shapes of the bones that you sketched with the oil. And just rub with your Q-tip and really saturate the paper with that oil and try to honor the shape that you have sketched out for yourself. And of course, also the, um, the bones in your wrist. So frequently re-dip your Q-tip so you have plenty of oil on there. And if your Q-tip starts to um, fray out, you can use the other side. But I think you can get pretty far with just one single Q-tip. So as you are progressing, you can see what happens when you're holding up the saturated um, areas of the oil. It's going to be transparent. So continue to do that on all of the bones. Tape your finished skeleton hand to a window. Wow, check it out. Isn't that so cool? It looks like an x-ray and it is my own hand. Make as many of these skeleton hands as you like and put them all up around your house for Halloween. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Community Arts Kitchen was created and developed by Barbara Libby Steinman and Anna Rochester. See you next time.